Hey everyone, welcome back to By Devin. Today we're doing a newbie tutorial. We're gonna start with our nail prep. I like to use a glass cuticle pusher to get rid of the invisible cuticle, and then I use my cuticle little cutters to trim away just a little bit of my cuticle. Um, when I used to go to a salon, they always made me bleed. Remember, it shouldn't hurt. So I just do a little bit around the edge. You wanna get off that invisible cuticle because it's gonna help your nail dip to adhere to your nail rather to the invisible cuticle, which will help you avoid lifting, let your dip last longer. It takes a little bit, so we definitely wanna get two, three weeks of wear out of it. Just a little shout out to all of you who have subscribed. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Leave in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see in the future. Use your alcohol to get off any of those little bits. And then here I go in with my little buffing block and my nail file. I wanna take off just the natural shine and then get my shaping just the way I like it. I'm loving a coffin right now, any shape works. And now it's time to dip. So we're gonna do four to five layers. We're going to start with a base color, then move on to the color we prefer, and then lastly, clear. So I'm gonna start with this base layer. You could do all the layers that are same color. I like to use this natural, kind of it's more my skin tone. Um, that way I can save my pretty colors that are a little bit more expensive. So the first dip, you're gonna do kind of just the middle of your nail all the way to the free edge, avoiding both your sidewalls and the cuticle. It's gonna help you build your apex and it gives a nice um, curve to your nail and keeps that bulkiness from being at the cuticle. I like to dip upside down into the jar. You can see it here, so it's kind of palm side up helps you to keep from having to buff a whole bunch. So they call it dipping, but I really just lay my finger into the dip powder. Do all your nails. Do a little tap, and then I like to take a pointy edge, a toothpick, um, works great for this, and just take off any of that dip that's gotten next to my sidewalls or my cuticle. You keep the dip from um, attaching to that cuticle or sidewall skin, that's really gonna keep you from getting lifting. Sometimes I use my finger, you'll see me do it here, you've already seen it, to kind of tap down the powder a little bit. There's like a little bump that can help, and you can see here, there's that border. Mine is shiny because I have on peel base. Yours shouldn't be shiny if it is, it probably means you have too much oil on your nails to start with. Use a little bit more alcohol, that will help to get that shine. And now we're on to layer two. So now we're gonna go just a little bit closer to the cuticle and closer to the sidewalls. If you want less layers of this kind of neutral color or you decide that you don't want as many layers, then you can move straight on to hitting those sidewalls and the cuticle. I like to have five layers. I feel like that's my perfect, but everyone's gonna have a different amount. And then for me, this is my last layer of kind of this neutral color. And you're gonna see here, I'm gonna go all the way to the sidewalls and all the way to the cuticle. When it's time to go to the cuticle, I actually lay my brush down about two thirds down my nail and then push it back towards the cuticle. It's gonna help you to keep from flooding, which helps you to keep that bulk out, no lifting. So you can see it right here. I lay it down and then push back. You don't have to move super fast. Um, most liquids are more of a medium dry time. Mine are, I use the Zebra Glitter and Nails, and I really like them. They have, for me, the perfect dry time. It's a little medium. I have enough time to be really careful around my sidewalls, and the cuticle keeps me from flooding. It's not super liquidy in terms of like runniness, um, so I don't feel like it runs into the cuticles and the sidewalls. And then on this last dip especially, use that pointed edge you have to get any of the things that have attached to your sidewalls or your cuticle. Then brush off all that extra. And now it's time to move on to your fun color. Um, I chose this raspberry ice from Thunderbird Lanes. It has such a pretty sparkle to it. So just like before, um, I'm going to do kind of like that second dip where you're almost to the sidewalls and the cuticle, but not quite, because I know for this color, it's pretty full coverage. I probably only need one, 
but I'm gonna do two just to get a little bit more sparkle. And then do a second layer, use a stiff brush before your dip liquid liquids again on a glitter like this so you don't contaminate your liquids. You don't want them to be sparkly because then you'll go to use a solid and now your solid has glitter in it. And on this last um, color dip, so this is my second layer of this, I am going all the way to the sidewalls and the cuticle. I'm starting about two thirds of the way down and pushing the brush towards my cuticle. tap 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 to get off any excess to get it in the jar and now my last layer is always clear um, I use my stiff brush to get off any of those extra glitters because I don't want there to be a whole bunch of glitters in my clear I do keep two jars of clear one for solids one for sparkles this is the Thunderbird Lane clear it is super crystal clear I forget sometimes that I've used it um, tap lightly to get down um, any chunks. If you're using a chunky glitter, this is a great way to get them all smooth. And I use this on each of my nails. I even use a clear over my solid colors. That way when you go to buff, you're not gonna ruin any of your color. And I also put just a little bit of clear on my free edge. Just wanna run your dip liquids just lightly across that edge. Now we're gonna brush off any excess. So I start with my soft brush, just to make sure it's really nice and dry, kind of um, make sure it doesn't ruin it. And then I go in with the stiff brush. Get off all of the excess. If you don't, you'll get cloudiness. And the easiest way to avoid that cloudiness is to use a stiff brush like this. A toothbrush also works if you have an extra. And then you want to use your activator. Don't feel like you're going to use too much activator. Be generous. Get it all over near the cuticles, sidewalls, and then that free edge. Wait a half beat and then you're going to buff. Okay, so I buff um, more near my cuticle to get away any bulk that's accumulated near the sidewalls and then my free edge and then any places that feel a little rough. Um, I use a regular file to clean up my shaping and then I make sure to wipe them each down really well with alcohol. This is going to get that dust off from buffing but then also any excess activator. And then even though you've just taken off excess activator, you're going to use activator a second time. You don't need to use as much as the first time. Just get it on there, a nice little thin coat, give it about 30 seconds and then you're going to wipe off any excess. So it's soaked into the nail enough to harden your top coat. So get a bead of top coat on the edge of your brush and then do three quick swipes. I like down the middle, left, right. So you're going to come back after you've done each nail to get a more final coat. That's how you get your high shine, even with dip liquids. So you're going to do each of your nails, one, two, three, and then immediately go back. You can be a lot more careful and slow this time because now you've got a barrier between any of that activator and your top coat. And then cap your free edge. You can see I just did it. I wiped the top coat along that free edge. It's going to keep you from getting any chips of your dip. You can also make sure you've gotten all of the areas, check for a good shine. And here's our finished look. Thanks for joining me today. I hope this helps. Bye.